Welcome back, guys. Tonight we will be fighting off mobs. We are all armored up. If we die, that's it. We go back. We don't take the stuff. That's the rule. It's called... Uh, it's a new thing I'm going to be doing. It's called Night with Mobs. Uh, we're going to basically just take on every single mob we see. If we see one, we've got to go and attack it. So there we go, guys. There's a creeper. Oh, and I'm great with a bow. Like that. If we see any more mobs, there's a zombie. We'll have to take that zombie on. Yep, we'll collect the gunpowder. And eventually, I have a plan, guys, to uh, build ourselves a arena which we could attach to the side of the mob farm so that mobs can be released so I can practice bow skills and stuff. I swear I heard something else, but I didn't. Uh, just remember that game sounds are on. I think they're on, but I can't hear anything. But it doesn't matter. That's the whole thing about this is we're not allowed to hear anything. And it's supposed to be surprising. And if we see anything else, we've got to kill it. I'd rather not get into a hand to fist to hand combat with a creeper. I'd rather just try and stay away from it and uh, keep moving around at the night. So where's the moon at the moment? Just coming up still. As we can see, there's a couple of spiders and two zombies and a skeleton over there. Fairly dangerous stuff. And this is going to be some hand to hand combat here, definitely, guys. Get the sword out. We're going to get these whole amount of zombies and let's try and get them to come to us, in fact. Let's keep them moving like this. Keep them coming. That spider's going to keep up. Where's the other spider? There he is. Let's try and take them out all at once. It's like a conga line of zombies. Let's keep them coming. Nearly there. And they're all dead. Dead easy. Because this iron sword really does work a treat. As long as all of them are in your sight line, you can see them all and we'll keep going. And uh, there seems to be plenty of mobs out tonight. We're going to not lose any hearts of damage. And thanks to our chest piece, we've now got four more zombies to take on. I've just seen two over the hill. And uh, we're trying to not back off. I want to take the creeper out because I don't want him blowing up anything on the map. But we're going to have to take on anything that comes at us. This is the fun thing about fighting at night. I really enjoy this. It's really more of a, not skill, but nothing's going to blow up. Nothing's going to die. We're going to take on everything we see. We're not chickening out. We're not backing out of anything. And uh, the more times we do this, the less armor we'll go out with. And today we've gone out with a chest piece. And we'll see how much damage we actually take on it. Because we started with nothing because you saw me first make it. So it's brand new. It's an original. But the one mob I really do hate facing on this game, though, is a skeleton. Because they are a nightmare. Because they can shoot you from quite far away. And um, they pretty much just deal that damage wherever they shoot you. It doesn't matter, really. I think this zombie's coming up behind us. I think I just saw one, yep. So we're just going to get off the tree. Find that zombie. There he is. Being a bit of a weirdo. Looking into a wall. We're just going to go around, we'll fight, finish off all these mobs, and we'll keep going in the night. It's pretty exciting, this, guys. It's kind of like a bit of an adventure run. There's some cobble down there. Just got to do a bit of a zigzag around the skeleton. Take him out. Some more zombies. Plenty of zombies out tonight in the snow biome. And there's two more there. Keep fighting and keep killing and keep going. Two skeletons there. As you can see, there's two zombies, though. We've got to take these out first. We saw these before the skeletons. We'll keep it going like this, like this. Uh, one night. Two. And there's more mobs. Let's try and take these all out because that skeleton may get us. Summit behind us. Yep, there we go. We've lost a fair little bit of damage on our chest piece there. But we'll keep fighting them. Let's get that skeleton next because it could be a pain. Keep moving, trying to not back away from it, but rather get ourselves a position where we can fight it. Like that. Whip out the sword and kill the spider. Uh, take out our arrows back that we missed with. <laughs> this is the progress we've made on the melon farm, by the way, guys. All of them have grown. Just need to harvest them now. So plenty. We swear I saw another skeleton. Yeah, there was. Yep. And a spider and that zombie and that spider there. Got 11 arrows left. And we've got to take that creeper out over there. Those two creepers there. But first we're going to take out anything we see. Two hits with a bow. One hit with the uh, sword. Keep the durability on our sword. Because it's more precious than a bow. A bow can be made with just some sticks and some string. Which we get from spiders anyway. 
I think we could creep up on the back of this uh, skeleton here. Let's see if we can get him. One hit. Two. Nope, missed the second shot. And uh, ar ar arrows not responding. Must be another skeleton behind us because there was two different shots there. Yes, there is. And as you can see, the sun is about to come back up, guys, and everything is going to burn. So we've managed to lose three hearts tonight, guys, with our chest piece still on. As you can see, it's still up there, the three bar bars of uh, endurance on our armour. We're still trying to take out as many as we can, and uh, we'll count up how much stuff we gained. We've lost 25 arrows. It's not too bad. And uh, it's been a good little trip, this. The sun's almost up. Once everything starts burning, that's the night over. And uh, if, we, if we'll record back, we'll, uh, we'll try and remember how many I killed. And I'll let you know in the comments how much I got this night. And we'll see if I can keep going and set myself a little target thing. And everything's starting to burn. So that is it, guys. It's the end of uh, our first night of uh, mob slaughtering. And as you can see, they're all going to die now. So I'm just going to pick up all their stuff. And... Uh, I don't think they can set you on fire, because they set fire in the day. You can still kill spiders though, because I like to just randomly murder them. Headshot, one hit kill there. Uh, wheat takes its time growing, but it'll get there eventually. Chicken farm, pain in the butt. But, still collect the eggs in anyway, because eventually we'll have ourselves a slaughter pit. This is for now just the egg collector, uh, where we collect the eggs for the slaughter pit. And uh, here's our reed farm, what we did in the part one of this episode. Uh, but yeah, guys, there was the uh, first night of slaughtering. As you can see, let's take up our total count of stuff, and we will leave it in one of our chests, so we can see how much we've collected over the nights. We will take this side over here. So we've got nine string, nine bows, bones, thirteen feathers. I think I already had some gunpowder on me. I think I already had five and uh, nine gunpowder. So yeah guys, that's what we, we've we got. We'll keep the arrows on us, we'll go back to the mob farm, we'll see if we can get much more. And uh, I think that was a decent first run for uh, mob killing. Let's we'll see how much more we get from the mob farm, see which one's more efficient, because I'm sure some, swear some more mobs would have uh, spawned in it overnight. I think they have. Not as many, but there's still some. I'm trying to back away, don't want the creepers to explode. And uh, keep shooting and keep killing them, it'll be okay, we'll be fine. And uh, there you go guys, we're just going to break this block, let the uh, stuff come to us. Take that, and the arrow, I want the arrows, because they're useful for each night that we go uh, shooting mobs. And uh, hitting them like that, that was uh, just a safety precaution, they're all still coming through. Let's just kill them like this. The mob elevator at the back is just a simple mob elevator. It basically brings them up. So that they can just force them into this little space instead of dropping them down a hole, they just float up. It's dead simple design, it's just a, a water block, and then signs to stop the water flowing. So mobs, when it goes above their head, they start to drown, so it forces them up. There's no other option for them. And uh, they get forced into that, so it's not too bad, guys. Um, yeah, so I uh, hope you've enjoyed these two episodes. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time, guys. If you want any more information on uh, these episodes... Uh, just go to the Minecraft forums or the Reddits and I'll uh, hopefully try and answer some questions on there for you guys. But yeah, remember, hope you enjoy this episode, guys. See you next time.